Jeff Leesell here with the Crawl Space Ace, and uh, today I'm under another house with uh, about eight years old, and uh, another one of these spray foam encapsulation jobs. So, uh, if you've seen any of my videos on spray foam encapsulations, you know, uh, you know what I think of them. And uh, this is just another prime example of. Uh, how terrible of a system these spray foam encapsulations are. So uh, I'm gonna turn you around and kind of show you around, see see what we got going on. So check it out. All right, so around all of these piers, we got standing water. I know that's a little bit, but if you see where it's, see here where it's a little darker black, the liner is, and as it gets a little dirtier and grayer that that shows how much water sat here and see how dirty that spray foam is i mean just water just pools there all the time and we got water over here we got water back over there water pooling over here there's water over by the door and where you have water guess what you got mold so they got not a crazy amount not a crazy amount of mold everywhere but I mean more than more than you'd want I mean, there's there's some pretty good pretty good mold there look how look how lovely that is so um, and maybe this isn't everywhere but uh, around here in western Kentucky uh, the, the guys that do spray foam encapsulations, they, they just don't take into account um, everything because they're an insulation company and they're not a crawl space waterproofing company. They, uh, they don't take into account water intrusion. They don't take into account moisture issues with mold or else they'd be putting dehumidifiers down in these spaces. So, uh, I'm gonna crawl back here to the back side and we'll see what it looks like over there. Hang on. So here we are on the back side, other side of this crawl space here. And guess what? More standing water. And it's uh, it's not like it's rained recently, maybe uh, six days ago. So, I mean, once it gets on top of this liner, it just sits in here. And all that moisture causes mold. So look at all this lovely mold we got going on on this on this support beam. So I mean, this is what happens when you hire insulation companies to to do your crawl space waterproofing and and protect the structure of your home. Uh, that's that's not who's they're that's that's not what they do for a living. So uh, I'm sorry. Sorry if you're a insulation contractor and, and you actually do it right and put dehumidifiers in here and put sump pump systems in and, and actually deal with uh, deal with the, the moisture issues the right way, but most most all the ones around here just don't do it. So uh, when if you're if you're looking at getting your brand new house sealed up right don't don't go the cheap route with one of these these cheap spray foam encapsulations do it right hire somebody who does a full real true encapsulation with a dehumidifier puts a sump pump system in here to actually actually take care of this this water or uh or deal with the water from the outside the right way um, i mean it sounds nice when they when they do these spray foam encapsulations they're doing it for cheap and they're promising you that your your hvac is is gonna dehumidify this area or whatever they're telling you but it's just not true it's just not happening it's, i've gone in too many of these i mean look how much how dirty this liner is there's so much water's getting in here so so moral of the story is spray foam encapsulations don't do it Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any other questions, feel free to, you can email me at thecrawlspaceace at gmail.com or go on our website at www.the-crawlspaceace.com and you can fill out a contact form and contact me through that. Thank you.